Hi everybody, this is Ashley Fan and Steel. So I had a customer ask me the other day. Uh, she said, well, I wear glasses and I'm really new to wearing makeup. I don't know what to do. I want to make sure that people can see my makeup, but I don't want to go over the top either. So I'm going to show you guys today my version of the smoky eye look. And it's super simple, super quick, super easy. Um... I'm a mom, I don't have a lot of time in the mornings, so this is kind of what I do. So I'm going to start out with my brush here, my liner shader. Uh, I usually get the liner wet first because it's going to give me that almost like a liquid glide on um, kind of look to where it's like a wet, darker instead of the more muted and blended look. Cause Come on now, if I'm going to put my eyeliner on, I want it to be noticeable. Oh, okay, so, trying to see without my glasses on, it's a little difficult. Um, Unix products are naturally based, chemical free, all around amazing. They're going to be hypoallergenic, they're going to basically give you the amazing look without the harsh chemicals, which is what everybody wants anyway, but Unique is giving it to us. So let me just line my eye on the bottom also. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys, the easiest way to do it would be, since it's fall and I like to do the more darker and kind of fall-like colors, we'll uh, use palette two today. So, once you go through and get your liner on, which is going to be peppy, it all comes in one. So uh, I like to go through and kind of give myself a little bit of a line, kind of a guide. Nothing too. And kind of just blend it out with this guy and just be like, eh, something around there like that. Something down here. You don't want it to be too harsh of a line. So then once I do that, it's like, oh no, you messed up already. No, I didn't mess up. We're good still. So then I'm going to take the shader side and make sure you blow it off. You don't want any excess. It'll go all over your face. Just kind of windshield wiper it back and forth. Um, on your eye, if you look at it, there's kind of like a little shelf right here that you'll notice from where your bone is right there. So that's kind of what I use as my guide. And go back and forth. And then you come down here and I just do this. I'm like, do, 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 do. So it doesn't have to be perfect. We're not done yet. So once you get that on there. So I'm going to grab a different brush. I mean, you can use a liner shader the whole way through if you'd like, which actually I will do that. Just so you guys see that you don't need, let me get a rag to wipe. So, you don't need a whole bunch of brushes and if you're not a makeup artist, it's fine. You can still do this. It's super easy, super simple, super quick. So the next color I'm going to do is... <sighs> I'm gonna do a little bit darker. So I'll do perplexed. Yeah, perplexed. Okay. So I get a little bit on there. And I'm just gonna kinda go in. Keep going around with that sheet. Then have to be perfect. We're not done. Kind of blend it in to your darker color. So that's what I've done there. So you can see it's pretty dark, but that's how I like it. So the last color I am going to do will be I'm trying to decide how light I want to go. How about if I go hmm. I can go honorable. Yeah, let's do some honorable. Okay, so then you're gonna finish it off here. Just blend it into the other color. Nothing is done yet. So that's how I do it. And then I come in afterwards and I'm going to finish off with romantic. 
Same brush all the way through. And we'll go above. Just kind of give it that shape. Just like an outline on the in on the inside of your eye. Just dab it a little bit. And then kind of bring it down, but not too much. Just so you kind of get that shininess. And that's how I do it. That's how I do my smoky eye. And as you can see, it's a little bit more dramatic, but it's not too bad. And then, I mean, you can do it with any color. You can use it with browns, neutrals, blues, purples, any color. And once I put my glasses on, you can still see that I'm wearing makeup. But it's not too bad and it's not too dramatic. I like a little bit more dramatic. So if you were to do more neutral colors, like say palette number one, which is a lot of neutrals, you're going to be able to do the same kind of thing. You wanna make sure you put it higher, especially when you wear glasses and I have the like overlapping lid, as you can see. And if this really shows, it's just kind of up here. Um, <clears throat> it works really well and I love it. So that's how I do my smoky eyes. I'm sure there's a million ways that you can do it, but that's how I do mine. So if you guys love my video and you want to get these products, go to www.sexysteelworks.com. Click shop, go to eyes. The one that I use would be palette number two. And if you guys want more of a neutral, you're going to go with palette number one. And it if you guys want to do a little bit more dramatic colors, then I'd recommend either palette number two or palette number three. And palette two and three are going to have the dark black color, so you'll have everything in one place. And you don't have to worry about a liner and then the different colored shadows and this and that. You'll have it all in one. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And if you guys want to do what I do and make money while you earn free products, yeah, throw parties whatever you want to do. And it's all online, hundred percent online, no stock, no auto ships, none of that stuff. Go to my website, sexysteelworks.com. You're going to click join. It'll give you all the information that you need to know and scroll down to register now. I hope to hear from you soon. I love y'all. Have a great day.